Welcome back, viewers, to Let's Play Condemn Criminal Origins. I'm the Madman. Let's continue with this scary game, shall we, viewers? <laughs> Alright. Whoa! Zap him, then whack him. The one two punch. <laughs> Whew, man, viewers. Rule number one never get in the madman's face. <laughs> never. Alright, viewers. Whoa! Guess I'm not the only madman around here. <laughs> Alright. Damn it! I had the perfect timing too. He was reloading. Ooh, man, right to the head, man. He he walked right into that, viewers. Wait a minute. Did did we just go in a full circle? Yeah. I killed the guy here with my uh, uh paper rusty paper cutter blade. I picked up a metal piece here with crazy eye birds and. I went in a circle! I can't believe that! I went in a circle! Her cell phone's right there. We started here, and then... Oh... We need a fire axe to get in. One of those guys I killed had one. I chased him through here. From the last video of yours. Alright, viewers. Yeah, I remember this guy. I broke his neck. Oh yeah, viewers, I got one more announcement to uh, make. Uh, Proton John uh, made a video today, last one in God knows how long. Uh, ah, there it is. Ah, Axe, my old wonderful friend. Man, how many... Wait. Eh, ah, never mind. How many guys did I kill with this axe? <laughs> how many infected did I kill and left her dead with an axe? <laughs> eh, no matter. Well, it's probably a lot. But whatever. Anyway, viewers, yeah, Proton John is back. He made a video today he announcing that he's still alive because apparently a rumor was spreading around saying he was dead. I don't know. I'm not sure why, viewers, that he would be dead. I guess maybe. Originally, viewers, my idea was it. He just got, you know, tired doing Let's Plays. But apparently, he's been busy, you know, work and all sorts of stuff. And I don't blame him. Work is pretty much taken over my life. Uh, oh. And, uh. Uh, is that it? Is that where we're supposed to be leaving evidence area? No, no, no. Apparently we're supposed to be looking for something else. Alright. What are we looking for? Uh, uh, there we go. What do we have? This is Rosa. I'm out of the lab at present, but we'll return shortly. In an emergency, please use my authorized bureau cell number. Physical evidence received and stored. And we hit a checkpoint. Yay! What do we got here? Ooh, crowbar. Don't mind if I do. Huh. There's a terminal activ there's terminal activity in rare books in A B Rosa. She's still alive. <coughs> now it's time to go Gordon Freeman. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. Swing my crowbar around like an idiot. <laughs> Rare Books is located in Shelburne's reading room upstairs. Okay, back to the elevator. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Okay, okay, viewers, that was smart. Me just turning my light off, so. I didn't bring attention to myself. That was smart. Yeah, but now I got, you know, gunmen upstairs. <sighs> Shit. It's gonna get tough up there, viewers, but I'm in a fighting mood. <laughs> also, viewers, work has not consumed my life. Yesterday was, well, Boxing Day. Well, wait, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, viewers. So, yeah, I helped out with Boxing Day. I actually had to work on Christmas. Well, Christmas night, at least. I mean, you know, Christmas Day, I worked at night. Yeah, whatever. So, anyway, so, 
viewers. Originally, I was hired for seasonal. My boss told me he might hire me. He said he would, you know, take a look and see if he could. So right now, viewers, I'm just waiting for a phone call or something. So I'm just waiting. <laughs> Until then, I guess I got time off. So I guess I'll be doing, you know, you know, daily updates, one video a day and stuff. Well, that's good for you guys. I mean, if I don't get hired, I'm gonna be unemployed. Uh, oh well, I'll figure something out. keep my light off because there's gunmen out there and we hit another checkpoint yay checkpoints are good all right now there should be three of them oh. yeah there's three of them I'm gonna get the jump ah crap my shit viewers my cover's blown my cover's blown yeah this is not splinter cell it's not like I have to use a gun. Almost. Okay, one down, one ow. Get back here, you bastards. One down, and... Ooh, back of the head. And he's twitching. You're dead. Wow. Oh, man, I was expecting a more tense battle, but... Jeez. That was re relatively easy. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I meant remember from Dark Source's guide. Now viewers, if you remember from Dark Source, well, I didn't tell you about that. But there's a TV on this level, and there it is. But you need the crowbar. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Source, again for writing that. Now viewers, remember, never leave the, your Xbox 360 and TV on, especially in a library that was shut down. Ooh, first aid. And is full of bums and squatters. I'm surprised no one has stolen that and, you know, traded into a pawn shop for like crack money or something. Or booze, whatever these guys. Whatever their vice is. Alright. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we're doing alright. 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 Left or right? It really doesn't matter. It all goes upstairs, but. You know what? I'm right handed, so we'll go right. Eh, what the hell for it? Just for entertainment value. I'll un I will unlock both sides. Wait a minute, did I just, you know, open up the gates of hell with a crowbar? Eh, I don't think so, viewers. You'll probably, you'll probably need something stronger than a crowbar to open the gates of hell. And again, viewers, I've seen Gordon Freeman kill a lot of guys with a crowbar. Man. Ah, how are we doing on time? Yeah, we're do, still doing all right. Also, viewers. Oh, shit! Well, viewers, I guess I'm not welcomed upstairs. Well, too bad, buddy. You're gonna need more than a... You're gonna need more than a... a two wooden chairs and a table to stop me. Believe me, you're going to need a lot more. Ah, right. oh, shit. Great. They have guns. Seriously, where are viewers? Where the hell are they getting these guns from? Oh, shit. Another one, he went around here. Get back here, you bad. Why won't you be a good boy and just boy? Thank you. And we got a creeper room with I guess there's a metal piece nearby around there. Yeah, it seems smart. Go down there alone. Is there anyone else up here? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Might as well go back down there and collect that last health because I got a feeling, viewers, that I'm not going to be coming back to this place anytime soon. Wait, 
Yeah. Yeah, I came from right around here. Wait, no, wrong room. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. Error in my fit. Error in your favor. You got more entertainment value. Yeah, viewers, you get to see me run like a lunatic. I'm a leader of the lunatics. Or was I lord in lunatics? Ah, hell, I forgot what I called myself back in that description box. But I am the M-rated superstar. The, the rated M superstar. And there we go. And there's where I came in, viewers. And there's what those creepy things from before. I don't even know what the hell they were. I don't even know what the, what the hell's going on anymore, viewers. All right, viewers. Here's where we take a break. Yeah, <laughs> a break. Yeah. Next time, viewers, on Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins, we'll go find Rosa and some more information on the torturer. So tune in next time, viewers, for more. Later.